So this is breaking news out of uh, Calgary um, in Canada. CBC Calgary is reporting that there's 70,000 people who are being told to leave the city because of a raging fire. Um, all of Fort McCurry is now under mandatory evacuating, uh, evacuation order. So we'll find out more information about that and keep reporting to you on that as we get the information to come in. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, so it's, it seems to be a, a major, um, something major happening there. Let me make a correction really quick on, um, on something on that I was reporting. So CBC Calgary is the outlet that is reporting about the fire that is uh, forcing 70,000 people uh, to evacuate. I can do a quick Google search. I'm not sure how close Fort McMurray is to uh, Calgary. And actually, I'll do that right now. Uh, Fort McMurray. Well, we have a we have a, a, a note in the Slack. It says the situation in Alberta has been changing quickly. According to Alberta Emergency Alert, the north edge of fire is growing rapidly. All of Fort McMurray is under a mandatory evacuation order except McDonald Island, Sapre Creek and Fort McMurray International Airport. More, there's more information coming in, I guess, on the wildfire. Wow. So, yeah, that's a, a major. Uh, so, yeah, so I'm completely, when I said Calgary, Calgary is seven hours and 56 minutes away from Fort McMurray. The outlet that's reporting this is CBC Calgary. And now it's coming in from mm. other sources that Fort McMurray is being evacuated. 70,000 people plus um, are being evacuated. This it, what's. I, I want to know what started the fire, right? And what yes. about this fire in this time of year in the wet climate of, you know, it still has to be moisture. It's, it's still wet here in Boston. So it's guaranteed it's still going to be a lot of moisture in the air in Canada. Um, how, what is causing this fire to spread so rapidly? Um, nothing about that so far. All we know is that there's 70,000 people who have been evacuated. So we'll keep an eye on that. I'm sorry. What? I'm looking now at what? I'm sorry, I'm looking no, at no, the, no. Go um, ahead. Go the ahead. images, and I'm going to see if I can get this image um, up on the screen here. Um, Alberta? Yeah, the image is coming out of uh, Mc, uh, Fort McMurray. Um, so the blaze, which started in southwest of uh, Fort McMurray, spread rapidly uh, to the outskirts of the city, forcing an evacuation. Um, there's a lots of smokes, and it's quite uh, hanging over the city. Um, Tomorrow is expected to be more intense burning day than it is today, said Bruce Mayer, Assistant Deputy Minister of Alberta's Forestry Division. Uh, this is a major fire. Uh, some are saying that this is being caused by um, um, a, climate, a climate disaster, and it's the biggest climate disaster um, ever. Uh, so we'll find more information about what's happening. But just the images, um, I, I apologize, guys. I don't have quick um, I'm, I'm still learning my technology here, so normally I'd be able to pull up this image, but I'm going to ask uh, Dr. Uh, Hyde if she would share this in, on Twitter through the Progressive Army account to see this image of how intense this fire is burning um, and how high this is burning. I know I'm looking at this, and this is every bit of – hundred. Uh, it's – at least a hundred feet in the air. This flame oh is. Oh my it's... gosh! I just saw the picture. She said, "Oh my gosh!" Saying they're saying that this is okay. So this is what some people in the chat were saying that this is Canada's oil sands region, and, and you know, Dr. Q Hyde, she was saying that people are calling this like a huge like climate issue. Like this is like this is insane. This is a serious issue. This They're is, saying the after a mild winter with lower than average snowfall and a warm uh, spring, Alberta is much higher than normal for yep, this time of year, yep, yep. facing the prospect of a long and expensive wildfire season. Wow. Um, last May, wildfires in the area led to the evacuation of hundreds of workers from Canada's energy heartland, leading to a 9% cut in Alberta's oil sands output at the time. Yeah. Wow. Yeah.